Hello everybody, this is Dr. Willow Ariella and this video is a mini lecture covering the um, information on intelligence and creativity. I discussed in a previous video the concept of intelligence is not static and not everybody agrees on what it actually is or how to measure it. So you want to keep this in mind as you're reading and thinking about the concept of intelligence. Um, IQ tests and IQ is only one um, measure of intelligence. Um, your text talks about um, how uh, intelligence is, has typically been measured and identified through the psychometric approach and that's using um, certain kinds of testing measures, things that have been um, validated and proven reliable for the most part. Um, by researchers that they actually measure a concept called intelligence that certain researchers agree upon for certain situations. Um, I mentioned in a previous video too about um, the concepts of fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence and what those mean and how um, one of those is affected more by um, aging than the other. Um, the uh, life experiences um, are definitely a component of um, a part of our intelligence and so um, people have been studying the different kinds of intelligences uh, fluid and crystallized and how they change um, as we age. Um, Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences uh, this is a relatively um, recent um, theory um, and Gardner has written um, a few books on the topic as well as some research studies um, and Gardner's um, research uh, has been, uh, some people have attempted to incorporate it in um, teaching, in um, some different forms of classroom teaching, uh, especially in the um, pre-secondary uh, levels, elementary, middle school, and high school. Um, Gardner's uh, research um, which uh, some people think has a lot of holes in it, or they critique it. Um, Gardner's um, proposal is that um, we need to be looking at um, the different kinds of intelligences that people may have. So, for example, uh, somebody may not be strong in math, but they may really be good in music. And if we try to test them for um, math abilities in the usual methods, we may be missing an important area that they are really skilled and good at, um, and it may contribute to um, their, um, you know, having difficulties or problems. And so Gardner um, has been proposing that we um, look at what um, people are capable of and focus on those and figure out ways that we can incorporate those um, in teaching methods um, in particular. Um, so he has been a, a strong proponent of changing um, the way things are, are taught in um, public schools especially. Um, the uh, section on measuring intelligence in the explorations box is a very important um, box for you. It has um, concepts that are widely used and um, very um, uh, well researched, still debated, but they are still widely used by psychologists and developmentalists. So it's important for you to have a good understanding of the concepts of mental age, um, intelligence quotient, and how that is obtained, um, test norms. Um, the test norms are um, the um, average scores that people in a particular age range um, perform at on IQ scores, but they're are um, debates about those norms. Um, the normal distribution, um, uh, that concept uh, is demonstrated um, on page 249. Normal distribution is also called the bell curve. And um, the normal distribution um, tells us by doing scientific calculations, including using standard deviation, that, um, the, that most people the average person of average intelligence um, in this example, this can be used for um, any kind of data, scientific um, data, numbers, that the average person of average intelligence will score around um, a 100 IQ. And then um, there are fewer and fewer people at the extremes 
of the um, IQ range, um, that score in those extreme range uh, ranges, and that is calculated by using a concept called standard deviation. And you'll um, most likely uh, practice uh, calculating standard deviation in um, statistics courses and other kinds of courses like that. So um, I'm not so concerned with you being able to calculate it as I am with you having um, a basic understanding of um, the normal distribution or bell curve and um, that standard deviation is used to calculate um, the, um, the range that people can have and that you understand that um, the number of people who fall at the extreme ends of that range gets smaller and smaller and we use um, standard deviation to calculate um, those ranges. So it's common to use um, one standard deviation and two standard deviations in calculating um, normal distribution. Um, so you'll see that in research studies. Um, so those um, concepts are really important. And then a very recently um, researched and studied concept is called creativity. This is, this is pretty new. Um, people haven't been um, studying this widely until recently. So um, creativity is a, an interesting concept that, um, again, similar to IQ, but not quite as much debated, but the, con the concept or definition of creativity is um, still debated and people are still doing some um, interesting research on what that concept is and whether or not um, it's uh, important to take that into um, account when thinking about um, intelligence. And there's an important discussion on the stability of IQ scores. Um, IQ testing is done among uh, young children, but the concern is how that could affect them um, as they grow and develop, and um, when is the best age to do testing for IQ. There's also um, an interesting um, applications box on early intervention for preschool children. There's a lot of research that's been conducted on early intervention programs like Head Start, Healthy Start, and um, other things like that. Um, we have one um, here in Hawaii where I live called um, oh, Tutu's, uh, oh shoot, uh, I'm blanking on the name of course as I'm doing this video, but uh, Tutu's Playground or something like that, and that is a um, preschool um, program uh, designed in mind with um, at-risk um, children of Hawaii, especially of Hawaiian um, heritage, um, to explore so that hopefully they can have a um, uh, some more support um, as they grow. The children um, can have more support. So um, really interesting concepts um, that are discussed in this chapter and um, they are definitely um, widely debated and the, the, um, there's a lot of um, discussion and debate too about um, IQ in older adults and those concepts of fluid and crystallized intelligence because um, there's a um, you know, pretty widely um, thought of uh, stereotype or assumption that as people get older they kind of get, you know, <laughs> less intelligent or um, they're not so quick. Um, but the concepts of fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence tell us that, that um, the memorization skills may not be there as much as they were when people were younger, but um, the ability to um, recall important um, life events and life experiences are there and that um, as the applications box on page 262 explores that um, older adults can um, benefit from uh, IQ or cognitive training. So I hope you appreciated or got some helpful information from this video and we'll move on to the next one. Bye bye.